Howdy, Rex here. We're out here today. We're testing out this uh, Smith and Wesson MP1522. Uh, picked this up because of the price of ammo's been going up so much, and I thought that you know, like a 22 long rifle might be very advantageous, especially for getting people training and stuff. So we just started shooting this, and it's actually quite surprisingly accurate. So it's uh, been a lot of fun so far. Only problems we've been having is uh, you got to be careful when you load these magazines exactly how you put it in the cartridge because uh, if something's a little goofy in there, it's uh, it's not going to feed the first round. But after that first round is fed, it seems like it works great. So just special attention needs to be paid. Uh, sometimes when you load it all the way to the top, that, ec that last extra round does make it not want to... Uh, chamber that first round so we're just gonna try it we're gonna leave a little bit of space we just got uh, I think these are 25 round, yeah 25 round mags here so we're just gonna put 24 in there um, the function or the the feel of it you know like the trigger mechanism and everything seems pretty similar to like just a, a stock AR-15 um, obviously the the receiver and stuff is plastic and the trigger parts aren't steel I don't think so yeah it's plastic see it's a little springier if you're really really familiar with the AR-15 you will notice a difference I don't think it's enough to throw you off or to make uh, you know to throw off your training or anything if you're, if you're not really maybe as used to if you don't have as many rounds through an AR-15 maybe you wouldn't notice as much but uh, it does have a little bit different of a feel because of the plastic construction of the, the guts inside the receiver but uh, yeah we're gonna keep shooting this thing but I got this you take a lot of people out shooting in there, uh, just brand new, and they want to be able to uh, learn how to shoot the AR-15. And that can get pricey, taking people out and letting them shoot off your ammo. And as mo most of you know, 5.56 five, is almost impossible to find now. So this is a... I just grabbed this. I never thought I'd get one of these goofy little things, but... A couple guys at the local gun store when I was looking at this, they walked by when I was checking it out, and they kind of sneered a little bit and said, Oh, man. Only reason you'd want something like that is because it looks cool, but it's not the real one. I mean, I suppose it does look cool if you think the AR-15 looks cool. Um, but that's not the idea behind it, really. It's more of a training piece of equipment. I like it. The controls are similar to the AR. I suppose, you know, the shorter bolt throw to it, like, you know, it only comes back maybe half as far. Small things like that, you don't have the Ford Assist, obviously. But, um... Your safety seems to work the same way. You got your bolt release, and uh, yeah, I didn't. I thought I would have to play at the sights a little bit to get it on. We're just using this federal bulk pack here, but uh, it actually is. Uh, it was exactly on. So we're we're shooting like half inch fragments of uh, clays at about 40 meters, and it's just nailing them consistently. So it was right on out of the factory. So yeah, we'll keep shooting this thing and we'll uh, let you know if anything goofy pops up that we don't like. So we'll give you an honest review. I don't know if you can see this. Don't be alarmed if the, if the cartridges look kind of goofy in there. It's not really a double stack deal, but they just... That's normal. It's working fine. So... It might look a little goofy when you load it. Yeah, little bugger. That's pretty cool. Pick it up and then shoot it again. Moving target. You little. Ah! <laughs> Shredding it, huh? 
That box didn't know what happened. Oh, I'm not sure. That would have costed like $50 right there. If this was a full size 556. Who's laughing now, gun store guys? <laughs> You see there's a box there, and we continue on. There's a lineup, four shelves. He's gonna shoot them. Might shoot some of those little clays left on the hillside there. And then we get over here. We zoom in some. There's a whole bunch more little shotgun shells that he will take out. Well, a second ago we had one failure to feed. Pretty sure that was due to ammunition. When they ramped up this 22 long rifle ammunition production, I think they kind of quit checking them carefully like they used to. And uh, sometimes you get like half a powder load. So you get a half halfway kind of dud or whatever. And that's probably what caused our failure to eject because it didn't have a whole lot of power it seemed like. So let's try some more. Got a course of fire here. A uh, bunch of shotgun shells laying on here, huh? There's a box there. You see that one flew over the hill? Right now the one's on the left there. Well, it looks like the guys at Smith & Wesson did a pretty good job putting these sights on. Didn't touch the sights from out of the box yet. And we're zinging those little 12-gauge uh, empty shells at like 40 yards, so it's uh, doing pretty good. Accurate little bugger. Seems to be relatively reliable too. Um, and the way you clear malfunction is kind of similar to how you do it in an AR. So it's a good little training deal. Obviously, it's different. I would recommend uh, probably shooting this for most of the time when you're training. And then maybe finish off the day with a full size AR just so you're not so shocked if you ever have to take that out, you know. So maybe do like 500 round brick every day in the little guy and then do like a 20 round box at the end just to make sure you're good. If you do that every day, I guarantee you, you'll be pretty good to go. Nice. Oh, there it is. Nice. Three more. Ooh, aim at the base of them. There you go. Zapped it. Good. Ooh, close. Nailed it. One more. That blue one's hard to see almost. All right, there's actually one on the right there. See it? A red one? The one I was trying for and wasn't doing so well. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I made it jam. Sometimes it doesn't like the full 25 rounds. There we go. 
You gotta make sure the nose is up on the cartridge there when you stick it in. So let's uh, see if we can lock her back and try that again. There we go. So make sure the cartridge is nose up in the magazine. Stuck in my pocket. There's a shocking shell. It evaded me. We're clear though. You know, I never thought I'd say it, but I think I found something that's even more fun than my Sega 12. This little guy's fun. It's accurate. I'm surprised. I heard these things don't shoot as straight as some of the other ones, but this thing seems to be pretty good. The Sega 12 is a lot of fun, but this actually makes you aim, which is even more fun. And it's cheap to shoot, that's that's another thing too. You don't have to feel bad every time you pull the trigger. Oh, yeah, 500 bucks well spent, seems to operate good. Only time it malfunctions is if I stick the cartridges in the magazine wrong or something. You gotta make sure they're nose up. Other than that, it's a pretty good little weapon. Or little training device, I suppose you could call it. Cool. What do you think? Hmm? It's a good gun. Yep.